project is sitting up here on the motorbike lift. We're going to work on the MR50 Eleanor. It's a 1975. Need to put crank seals in it and piston rings. This is the first time I'm using my new camera. Let me know what you think. And the background noise, I'm sorry, but it's raining outside. You guys know the drill. It's a metal roof. Nothing I can do about that. Let's get started. Take this cover off first, I suppose. You need to be careful with this cover. It's just pinched on there with these little things. Woo! Nerve wracking. I don't want to damage anything. Reverse threads on this when it goes into this flywheel. You're not supposed to use an impact on it, so don't use an impact. So we have three screws that have to come out. One, two, and three. This plate has to come out. Ah! That's what sucks about impact drivers. The bits always break off on them. That's been my experience. Maybe I'm buying cheap ones. I don't know. Let's try it this way and see what happens. It worked on this one, I already know. Crack her loose. Next. Now those were in there. Aha. Check it out. Nice. Ah. Got her out. That was sweet. And yes, it is very crusty. Little oil on her new seal. Well, that side went very well and just too easy. I hope the other side goes that easy. Time to do the other side. I'll take off the kickstart and the brake lever. There's a spring under here that I kind of got to push down on. We'll do that once I get it ah, out a little ways. There's our spring right there, just holds it. That could, you know, that's grease, but it's just really sticky and cold. That's all right. I'm paying attention to where this Kickstarter is lining up with things so I can put it just right back how it was. I need to take this drain plug out and we'll let the oil out of there. 17 millimeter. Oh, man, these things, screws are tight. They always are. A quick snapping jerk 
you know, usually brakes them free. Let's see, a lot of pressure too. Oh, my lift's sliding. Like so, not easily done, to be honest. See if we can get this cover off now. Hmm. This is a rubber hammer, by the way. I'm gonna have to fumble around with this a little bit. I wanna be very cautious when taking it off. I don't wanna do any damage whatsoever to this case or this bike at all. So I'm just gonna turn the camera off. It's gonna take me a little while. I wanna finesse it off. I don't wanna brute force beat it off, you know. Took the skid plate off of there, made it a little bit easier to get to. It's still really tight, but I heard it. As I tapped on it a little bit, I heard the seal crack loose. So I thought I would film it for you. You never want to pry in between the two halves of the cases here or covers or anything like that because you'll damage that where it seals. There is a lip under here that I can feel. I'm going to take this pry bar on the back side and boop, give it a shove and it'll probably pop off of there. It's moving. There's probably dial pins holding it. You just need to be real gentle. There she goes. And see that? Just got to take your time. There's a dial pin there. There's two of them. A dial pin there and there. This seal, I do not expect for this seal to be as bad as the other seal. The reason why is because it's soaked in oil. Pop this little booger off right here. Yeah. Little snap ring and then there's a washer there. I got my magnet here somewhere. Ha <laughs> ha, found my magnet. Yay, yay. Washers off. All right, so probably what it is, there's a big nut under, under the cover. I think, I'm not positive. You're gonna have to take these screws out. This right here is gonna be put on hold. I don't wanna do any damage to the screw heads. So I'm gonna have to go get another impact driver. These things are tight. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take this cylinder head off and we'll look inside of there so I can get some parts ordered. Gonna take the seat off and the petrol tank. Give me just a little bit more room to work here. Two 10 millimeter nuts on the exhaust system. I put a little oil on them. A penetrating oil to try and help us out. 12 millimeter bolt right here. I'll zip it off. That's holding the exhaust, you know, in place. That'll give me some wiggle room. The exhaust is a snug fit, and it's looking like they want us to take the air box off of the other side. So I suppose we'll do that just to get all this stuff out of the way. Deja vu right here. I just got to loosen up the carburetor boot screw on the other side. Let me do that real quick. Spark plug. Get it out of the way. Yeah. Would you folks like to take a look at this spark plug? I will show it to you. To me, that's an awesome perfect looking burn possibly a little bit lean because of the issue we're having with the uh, air leak but that's not bad looking at all our exhaust should slip off now just swing her out of the way here that's good enough now for our head and cylinder the moment we have all been waiting for or possibly just me I don't know I don't know these nuts are a 10 millimeter. I may have said 12. I did say 12, but I may have edited it out. They're 10. 10 millimeter nut heads, bolt heads. I think nuts. Yeah, it looks like nut heads. Their studs runs down through there, you know, just like any motorbike. See what we got under here. 
Oh, oh, oh. What's there? It's just a head. We'll look at it together. And it's beautiful. The spike is too nice. Yeah, not working out. So here we are again. I am going to shut you guys off. The reason being is because I need to take my time, not get frustrated, and just gingerly finesse this jug off of here. I first need to get that seal broke. So just takes time and patience. Don't never get in a hurry trying to get something like this off because you'll break fins or damage the case and stuff like that. And you have screwed up when you did that. Wiggling. Yeah. Exhaust is a little bit in my way. There we go. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, there we go. See what we got under here. Nice and easy. This should be a more up close and personal view of what we got going on here. And I will ease her off. There we go. Guys, I'm sorry. This is impossible to get a shot of the inside of this cylinder. I don't know why. But you got to believe me. It's good. It's in very good shape. I'll just hone it and she'll be perfect. Our piston looks pretty good. I need to inspect it a little bit better though and make sure. And we'll go from there. I was able to find some bits but they were number two so to make them number three I just grounded the tip down on this one can you see the difference there one sharp and pointy one's flat and this one will fit perfectly into those screw holes until I can order you know number threes but it fits real tight let's see if it works I have no doubt that it will Easy peasy. And there's just four springs like this one that fit right on there, like that. This thing's nice and clean inside, isn't it? And the seal we're wanting to replace is right behind this gear. So that's why this had to come off. Because that gear would not come off without taking this off, getting it out of the way. So there's your seal, and it's it's crunchy, crunchified but not as bad as the other side, but still, ah, very old, very brittle. I'm going to turn you off, cover all this up with a rag and clean up all this gasket material before I put the clutch basket back on. Time to get the cylinder back on. I cleaned the piston. And you just saw me hone the cylinder, I guess. This piston has pins in it to hold the rings in a specific location. So you have to be careful because you will break a ring. It's been a couple days, guys. I want to mention this real quick. It's been a couple days. One of the clips right here to the pin I went to put on and it flew out across the garage, never to be found again. So. I made a phone call and very quickly got my parts 
through this company right here. This guy is awesome. And so if you need any parts for these little bikes, make sure you contact Remix. It says, restore your youth. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I was just putting that on totally backwards. What am I, crazy? Oh, first ring on. If you take your time with anything at all on this project, make sure you take your time with the rings. You don't want to crack them. You don't want to get them off that little pin. You don't want to screw stuff up. Take your time. Very nice. That pleases the Benny. This piston is marked EX on the top for exhaust. That way you know the piston goes to the exhaust, points towards the exhaust. EX on the piston. So there you can see it, EX. Our head gasket, this goes on one specific way and make sure your dowels are in there too. Two dowel pins. Cylinder nice and cleaned up. Washers and bolts. There's only four. Uh oh, I just dropped one. Only four on this little puppy. The main reason we torque stuff, and of course it's so you don't strip bolts and stuff, but also the reason you torque something is so that it has a nice even seal on the gasket. If this bolt in this corner was looser than the rest of the bolts, the gasket would fail there quicker than any other spot. So that's why you torque stuff down. Oh. Ah! Ah! You won't believe this, guys. I just looked down. Look what I just found. This is disgusting. I waited two days, which was quick, but still, for this little clip. Keep laughing, Dan. Keep laughing. Dang it, man. That sucks. Throw our shield on. Our skid plate. Whatever you want to call it. Fill her up with oil. Never overfill the crankcase with oil. If you do, you're going to ruin your rings. Ah. She is hitting a lick now. Look at that. Ah. Nice. Our air filter box. Petrol tank. This is becoming mucho exciting. I like it. I can't wait to fire this thing up. Looks like all we got left is the seat and our little side plate. Can you guys believe that? What a pretty little machine this is. These things are cool. Really cool. I like them. And our seat. El Cito. That's it guys, time to fire it up. First start since rebuild, we'll start it, we'll go easy on it. Kind of let it idle, rev a little bit, and then let it cool back down, do it again, do it again, ride it just a little bit, ease it around, you know, try and break it in. You don't want to just fire on it, man, and screw things up. First start, always exciting. Let's see what happens. Do a little choker. because the seals were bad and I'll have to adjust it again after it warms up real good that's the best time to adjust the carburetor of course as for now it's running good I'm gonna shut it off let it cool down 
We'll fire it back up and take it for a ride. All right, guys. One last rip on this little bike. Here we go. There's first gear right there. Second, a little bog. She's got to warm up. Third, she's a ripper. Let's get out here on the road, see what she does. She's running good. Cruising, man. This thing's a cruiser. First, second, give her a little time. Third, and we're cruising. We're flying now. I had this thing up to 38 miles an hour and that's too fast for this little bike. I'm not gonna push it because I don't want to burn it up. You can't go 38 miles an hour on a little kid's bike. This is 50 cc's. Not made to do that. Maximum weight on this thing is supposed to be 85 pounds. It's all wet out here. I don't want to get all wet and muddy. I could go down in the woods with it. Why not? Why not? That's what you people are here to see. So let's just do it. Here we go. Ripping down in the woods. Ah. A lot of limbs here. I need to get the wood chipper out. Chip this stuff up. This right here is what it's all about, boys and girls. Always include the women. All right, here we go up through the woods. Oh, in first gear, fat guy on it. Yeah, this thing runs pretty good, if I must say so myself. Whoa, uh oh, uh oh, she's not gonna do it. It's just too much. Too much of a grade for my little bike. Too much of a grade. It's a, oh, it's a steep hill right there, guys. Whew. Dang. These little bikes are fun. Little stuff like this is fun. I guess everybody knows that, and that's why they do it. Let's get her back in the garage. We're gonna ship this one and move on to the next. Watch how nice it starts back though. Let me do that real quick. One kick. Lovely little machine. She will be missed, but there's always another one down the road headed this way. The little MR50 is running great and is headed off to its new owner here in a couple days. I need to give credit where credit is due. And that is Cherio26. He is a YouTuber and also the Honda Express Club group on Facebook. It's cool to have a resource where guys and gals are always willing to help you out. You know, when you get stuck working on your stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. It just helps the channel to grow. Leave a comment because I always love to read through them. And if you're a newcomer, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys next time.